Imagine an SEO tool that analyzes your content to tell you if paragraphs are too long or it's too difficult to read and even tells you how to fix it. Now that sounds like a dream, right? Because I have found a tool that can help with this and a lot more and the tool is text metrics. So let's dive in and see how good it is. It's so important that you optimize your content and especially in the world of AI that you go that extra mile and run your content through a tool like text metrics or similar tools to ensure that everything you're writing is easy to read and you're using the right keywords and everything is in order following the best SEO practices. The journey using a tool like text metrics is to start with the keyword research module, then move over to the content optimization and then end by tracking your content. And they do have another bonus module, which I will come to in the end. So whether you know your keyword or not, your journey should always start in the keyword research module. Here you can enter either your seed keyword or the keyword you know you want to write about. And then you can either see suggestions around your keyword or you can simply just start typing and writing about your keyword with creating this content optimization report. The thing is that if you get some suggestions on your keywords, then it's basically the same as running a keyword research report. But here you only get the competition and the estimated search volume, and that's it. So even though you do get to some extent some great keywords, you don't get any questions or very long tail keywords. You get some keywords and then you only get data on those keywords and you have no filtering options. And we can't see stuff like CPC and search intent. So I'm really missing a lot in this keyword research module. It does have potential, but it needs a lot more data. We need filtering options and then they need to add more data points to each individual keyword. So we know that we're targeting the right keyword and that we are writing about the keyword in the right way compared to how it's targeted in the SERP. If they could add these elements and of course add much more keywords to the database, then it will become an interesting keyword research module. But until then, then I would probably use a tool like Lowfruit, find my keyword or question in there, and then pull it over into text metrics and then start writing about the subject. I think that's the most streamlined process. But the content optimization module is super interesting. Overall, I really like the design. It is hyper focused on you creating content. There is no disturbing elements whatsoever, but it is divided into two sections. On the left is where you write all of your content and you can't use AI to generate your content. You can only use AI to generate your title and your meta description. And the reason why you can do this is because they have a WordPress plugin and they have many more plugins. But on the right side, you have your entire optimization module where it's telling you to use specific subheadings, if your content is too difficult to read, and overall what you need to do. But what I did was that I used the AI to both generate the title and to generate the meta description. And it's quite funny because the meta description, it generated 10 characters too long, and it even told me in the optimization module. So I think that that should definitely be fixed. They should definitely generate a meta description within best practices of SEO because they know what it is. So they should definitely target that and change that. But with the plugins, you basically get the entire functionality of text metrics optimization module in your CMS. So if you're using WordPress and using the plugin, then you have the entire optimization live in the editor of WordPress. And the same goes for both Joomla and Drupal. And they're continuing to adding more integrations and more plugins of this type because they also have integrations and plugins for Chrome, for instance, Edge and many more other browsers. So it's great to see all of these integrations because it makes it much easier to use text metrics wherever it is that you write your content. And with the content optimization module, you get all of the best SEO practices. So of course you need to use your keyword in your heading one, you need to use your keyword in the URL and you need to use your keyword in the meta description. And they also recommend that you use it in a heading too. So all of these recommendations are there and you can find them and you can follow them and that works great. But what I found super unique about the optimization module is their entire readability module, which consists of four different modules. And the first module tells you how easy it is to read your content based on bold words and italic words. It's even telling you how many bolded words and how many italic words you should add 
based on your content length. And I really like this because bolded words and italic words makes it so much easier to read a piece of content because it is guiding your eye without you really noticing it. The next module is a readability module that measures your entire content and gives it a score. And you want the lowest score because this means that it's easy to read your content. And it's even giving you suggestions on how you can get down there and get a better score by telling you what paragraphs are too long and even highlighting the paragraphs so you can shorten them. Because the third module within the readability module is telling you if you're using too many adjectives and they're even highlighting it so you can remove them or even add if you're missing to add some. And the last module is a way of telling if you're using lists at all and if you're using enough lists because list is a way of breaking up content so it's easier to read. So based on your content length, it is also telling you how many types of lists you should use. So overall, these four modules, they work great and it's a great way to improve the readability of your entire content piece. But all of this said, I'm still missing some core functionality within the optimization module. I want to see what NLP keywords I need to use. I want to see a competitor analysis of what are my competitors doing? How are their outline? What keywords are they using? I also want to see how many times should I use the specific NLP keywords and so on. These elements are super important and we see it in tools like Phrase and Market Muse where they do it brilliantly. But if they could add these tools combined with the readability module, then it will become almost a perfect content optimization module. But when you've published your content, it's now time to monitor it to see how well it's ranking. And this you can do in two ways. Either you can use the page ranker where you use one keyword and you track one specific page for that keyword. And then you can see historically over time, how is it ranking up and down. For this, I really wish that I could add multiple keywords because a content piece is never just ranking for one keyword. It is always ranking for multiple keywords, sometimes even hundreds of keywords. So I would like to see that I could add these specific types of keywords. And you can simply doing that by looking in Google Search Console, see what keywords you're getting clicks on and then add them. But right now we can only add one keyword. The other way is simply tracking keywords where you compare them to your competitors. So here you can add as many keywords as you want. It is only 50 per report, but you can add multiple reports. And then you can add your competitors and compare to your competitors to see how you are ranking. And it's also a fun way to see the content gap between you and your competitors to see where you have written some content where your competitors hasn't written some content yet. So it's great to get an overview of how you're ranking on the specific keywords, how your competitors are ranking on the keywords and how you're doing overall compared to the competitors because each competitor, including yourself, get a content score. And I really like this because that's a quick overview to see what competitor is ahead and what competitor is doing the best possible to create content, rank on the content, and overall just beat the SERP. But if you don't know your competitors, then they do have the bonus module, which is a competitor research module. Here it is super simple. You just enter your domain and then you get all of the domains ranking for your specific keywords. But there is a caveat. It only works if you're already ranking for popular and specific keywords. If you're not ranking for anything or you're only ranking for a very few amount of keywords, then it can't find any domains. So if you have an ace domain, then it works perfectly. If you're a newer domain, then I will recommend that you go into Google, search for your keywords and then see what domains rank for these keywords. And the more time to see the same domain across all of your keywords, the closer of a competitor it is. So there are definitely these two options, but this is a great way at least to start. Try and put in your UL and see if somehow text metrics can find the competitors. Otherwise, simply do it manually by going to Google and searching for your keywords, because then you can run the content report where you compare yourself to your competitors, which gives you an overview of how you're doing. So how well does it actually optimize our content and analyze it? I will say overall, it is doing a decent job. The readability modules are definitely unique and they should definitely stay, but we're missing some core optimization modules, which are telling us the NLP keywords we should use some competitor analysis on the each individual search query and what questions are asked as well. Because right now we can't build an FAQ with specific questions from the SERP. 
unless we manually go to the SERP and search for our query and copy and paste the questions. So these different modules, if they would be added to text metrics, then it will be an awesome SEO tool to use because we have the readability module. But as it is right now, the way I'm using it is that I'm using low fruits to find my keywords, then I'm writing and optimizing it in phrase, and then I pull it over to text metrics to ensure that my readability is top notch for this specific content piece. And text metrics offers a seven day free trial where you can test it out completely free. And I would really recommend that you do that because you can run your content through the readability module and then overall optimize your content. And it's also a good way to learn how to write content that is easier to read based on data and based on an engine that is telling you what to do. So it's much easier for you to learn. At least I will continue to use the readability module because that brings value to the way that I work with content right now. And if you are a content creator or you just write a ton of content, then you have to try out text metrics. It will really help you scale up your content and make it easier to read. But I want to give text metrics three and a half stars. And the stars are purely based on the readability module because we're really missing some necessary content optimization modules within their content optimization module. So they need to be added before it's a better SEO tool. But if you want to see the keyword research tool that I'm using at the moment, then you can do that right up here. Thank you for watching. See you on the next one.